Hi there. So we're going to take a look at emission shaders. I have a plane here that we're going to emit light to using this uh, other plane object here that I've tilted on an angle. And on this object, we're going to add an emission shader to our uh, material that's attached and have that emit light onto this surface. Simple stuff, simple, simple, almost even boring. Um, so I'm going to select this plane here and I'm going to go to the material tab here and then I'm going to click new uh, and that will just add a new material to uh, attach to this object. Um, and there are now two ways for me for this object to emit light. Uh, one way is that I could use this principal BSDF shader and it has a a component called emission here and emission strength. So I can use those to emit light. So let's increase the strength here. But as long as the um, the color is set to black, nothing is going to happen. But let let's demonstrate that a bit better by going into rendered view. Um, I should also say that I mean uh, cycles, and I have uh, put my world background here if going to surface this color here is set to black so that it doesn't influence um, the environment here but our plane here is also emitting black light um, so i can just increase the or change the color here to something like a white and the strength will come through here and we can you can see how that changed as i adjust this so this is one way that we can just have one object emit light through the mesh here. Uh, I'm going to scroll up here a bit. Uh, another way is to change this uh, surface input here to uh, from the principal BSDF by clicking here and choosing an emission shader. Um, and then you can see that we are left with only strength and color. And that corresponds to the same as if we had the, uh, let's see, the principal principle BSDF there we go and if I scroll down you can see emission emission strength and those are just exactly the same as far as we are concerned anyway so we can play with this increases and we can change around the color to have another color both on the uh, uh, emitted or emission object and the uh, light that's coming from it uh, it's worth noting that an emission object or an emission shader cannot receive uh, light from other sources. So if I were to duplicate this and turn it around, and let's duplicate this material with this two here, and I'm gonna make a red here, you can see that uh, this plane uh, will get uh, emitted on both sides here, uh, but the uh, other plane here with an emission shader won't uh, receive any light. So it stays exactly the same. And we can use this feature uh, so that we can preview nodes in our material. So let's jump into the node editor now. I'm just going to qu quickly switch over to the shading tab here. And you can see that we get our same scene, but with uh, the node editor down here. And this is what we have created by uh, swapping out our principal BSDF to an emission shader. It's just the emission shader plug right into the surface here. Uh, if I press X on that to delete it, I can press Shift A and I can go to Shader and I can bring back that principal BSDF and connect that here. So in the um, node editor here, uh, these settings were the same that we have uh, down here. And if I change one here, you can see that in real time it increases there as well. So it's the same interface, just uh, different representations of the same of this node structure here. All right, so let's um, remove that, and uh, we can actually remove that plane and use this one instead. Let's see where I have my scene. There we go. There we go. So now it's updated as well. That's good. Just gonna bring that down a bit. All right, so if I, for instance, have a texture, a noise texture, 
uh, I can actually use an emission shader to preview uh, these outputs here. So let's say that I uh, normally would plug this into there for some reason. And I could scale this in different ways and see not, not much will change here. Uh, or not much that we can see. But you can see on the plane here that uh, we have some differences in scale, things like that. Uh, but this is actually emitting, but it's most emitting kind of white light uh, because it's uh, such a pattern that uh, when it's emitted, it kind of becomes white. So anyway, I can ju also just take this and play it right in the surface, bypassing any other nodes that we have. And I'll get, uh, this will be the equivalent as plugging this noise texture into an emission shader uh, color socket with a strength set to one. So if I do this, you can see that here and here, there is no difference between these two. So if I want to preview a node, I can just stick it right into the surface and it will have the same effect as if I take an emission shader and plug that in between with a strength of one. All right. So now let's see if we can use a, an image texture and have that the light from it project onto uh, the surface as well. So let's take this, it goes back to the red color that we had before. I'm gonna add a, press shift A by the way to bring up that menu, uh, image texture, and we're gonna create a new one. I'm just gonna create a, let's go for a color grid. 1K by 1K should be enough. And let's go with a, uh, I'm actually gonna press search and texture coordinate. There we go. I'm gonna take the UV and then plug it in here. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but the colors that we have here are actually emitted onto the surface here as a kind of a spectrum. It's kind of faint, but uh, it's there. So if we take an image and we want some variation in our um, in the colors that we emit uh, through this emission shader, we can use the texture to kind of do that. But it's kind of having the same effect as with the um, uh, noise texture there, where it's um, kind of going from all the colors are included, so we get no color almost. So, but it looks like a rainbow here, for instance. But we can take, for instance, a let's see here the um, gradient texture, and let's uh, see if we can use generated and put the color there. In this case, I think we should um, use a color ramp to kind of squeeze that together. Oops, that went missing. Let's do the color ramp. And we can increase that, decrease that. And we can change this to, let's say, a red color. And you can see how both of those colors kind of uh, come through here on different, they're not mixed, but they are coming through uh, I can see the transition there in pink between. Uh, so we get a blue surrounding this area here and we get a red close to the ground or close to the light uh, here. So those are some ways that we can use an emission shader. Uh, now the last thing I want to show you um, with this, if you go back to this trick with the emission shader where we can preview anything, is that if you have no wrangle add-on enabled, can go to edit preferences and add-ons and you can type ram wrangler you can just enable that checkbox and if you have done that you can press Control shift and click on any node to have that preview like this to see whatever this output looks like all right that's it thanks for watching bye